for any Xbox or PlayStation codes or anything gaming related, check out G2A.com. And if you need any Ultimate Team coins, then head over to you, FIFA. The code CHEZ will get you a discount on both sites, and all links are down below. Hey guys, how's it going? Chess back again and welcome to episode number 56 of the My Player series here on FIFA 15. We had a vote in the previous episode and, well, it was slightly one-sided. We asked whether you guys wanted me to leave transfer, leave transfer? To leave Sunderland with, by requesting a transfer or to stay at Sunderland. We had 200 votes to stay at Sunderland. We had 1,900 votes to say leave Sunderland. It was a 90% to 10% sway in favour of leaving so uh, what I'll do is we'll go into my actions, we will request a transfer and we'll wait and see what the manager says. Obviously we'll get a, uh, a, re a reply to that sooner rather than later. We've got uh, Friendly here against uh, Montpellier I believe that is. Yes it is, we have been selected so we'll play that and then we'll come back. Hopefully we'll have a decision and or an offer for you to, uh, to, uh, to have another vote on by the time we get to this Hoffenheim game. Although time will tell, we might have one game today, we might have two. Uh, like I say, time will tell, but we'll jump into this Montpellier game because they're pre-season friendlies. I won't show too many highlights to uh, to keep the episode a little bit shorter, so we can concentrate on the uh, on the transfer business. If obviously I don't know at this particular stage, but uh, if there is a vote going on and there is a link in the description to a straw poll, watch the video first before heading over to voting, because of course. By the time we get an offer in, we, uh, we might have something specific to say or some investigation to do into that side before we actually make any final decision. But anyway, let's jump into the game against Montpellier. We'll try and get off to a good start for Season 3, try and put ourselves in the shop window, and then uh, hopefully we'll get a decent offer in for us. Throw in here for Watmore. He's a youngster, only 63 rated. He's having a, a first team chance here in this friendly. We'll try and take this around the line. Oh, what a turn that was. We'll get this shot away. That is a gorgeous goal. A genuinely really impressive finish. I'm delighted with that first touch and turn. My guy just did that instinctively. I didn't tell him to. Just I tried to just turn his side and he's done that. That's gorgeous. All I wanted to do was just turn to the right and he's done almost like it's almost a, a McGeady or Burber spin without actually touching the ball it's incredible footwork and the finish as well through the defender's legs into the bottom right we said we wanted to put ourselves into the shop window we're right at the very front of the showpiece Sanson Dabo's made the uh, the forward run he's been ignored for the minute Peck Hutt though will find Mounier strike over the top of the bar Montpellier's first chance of the game Mounier obviously a rapid winger although he's cut to an inside position there perhaps he should stick to uh, to putting the crosses into the box rather than having the shots in the box himself free kick from Montpellier about 35 yards out maybe in first half stoppage time, Mounier will take it. That is on target and he's hit the post. Chance for the follow-up effort wide. What a free kick by Mounier. That was absolutely incredible. We had a very, very good goal to start the uh, the episode off and almost an extremely good goal to end the first half there. Really unlucky, Mounier, with that, uh, that follow-up. We said he should perhaps stay out wide to get the crosses in, but clearly a set-piece master, just a couple of inches out from scoring an absolute worldie. What more the young kid is going to take the throw in. Got it back to Billy Jones. Where are we going to go here? Nice little ball in there to Seb Larson. Finds me. Thought about giving it back to him, but we'll take it on ourselves. And really, we are unstoppable right now. We'll do a cheeky little slide there in front of the fans. That's two goals for us now in this friendly. And two very impressive finishes as well. We should be uh, getting in some offers for some really nice clubs to uh, for you guys to have a vote on. I'm impressed with that finish actually. To get it across the goal into that far top corner. Nice little turn as well. Proving that we are a world class striker now. And uh, literally as I've just said that Liverpool have just gone 2-0 up because Fabianski has kicked the ball straight into Raheem Sterling. I know it was Adam Lallana a uh, terrible effort there but we've done well in the actual video itself here's Van Aanholt I make the run and he hasn't quite found me or now he has but I think I might have been offside nothing given ok well we'll play on play to the whistle as they say here's Jan and Villa oh he squeezed that through to me I wasn't really ready for that and I've gone down injured that is not what we needed when we're trying to get sold Van Aanholt with the shot comes back off the post that is not good news as we headed into stoppage time and almost at the very end of the game, after a pretty dull second half, to be honest, we scored that nice goal at the beginning of it. And other than that, not really much else has happened other than this injury. Am I up? Well, I at least got up, but there goes the final whistle. And we'll find out in just a second how long that injury is going to keep us out for. 
Uh, I'm not really too sure what's going to happen now, because obviously if we're out injured for too long, we won't be able to move because we'll be injured, and then we may have to play the first half of the season at Sunderland. That would really kind of scupper things, I think. I'll have to wait and see. Uh, nothing in the inbox. Okay, well, maybe I'm fine then. Maybe it was just a knock. Let's see if the, uh, the boss has offered me a transfer request. Has he accepted it? We've been selected. Your recent transfer request, you've decided to turn it down. Fine. Well, we will just have to request the transfer again then, won't we? We're in excellent form. We've got two goals in that previous game. And, uh, yeah, you're going to have to uh, evaluate it. It looks like we're going to play this game against Hoffenheim as well then. Like I say, I'll keep highlights down to a minimum in pre-season so we can concentrate on transfers. We'll just have to hope that something happens between now and the Werder Bremen game. Villiers works some space really well here. My first touch wasn't the best there, but we've done enough to get past the defender. We'll try a cheeky turn. We've got away from the second defender and the shot off the post. Closest either side, or in fact it's the first chance of the game. So it is definitely the closest either side have come to a goal so far in this game. First chance off the woodwork, 0-0. Kim Jin Su through to Aqua. Outside is Kevin Volland. Chance him to get across in. There is a man at the back post. Out muscled second chance drops to Roberto Firmino. And he misses the header over the top of the bar. That's the first chance for Hoffenheim now. We've hit the woodwork and they've narrowly missed it. Van Holt gets it through the gap to Giaccarini. Should get that inside to Jack Rodwell. Might play it quickly for me. I'm offside, I think. We'll have the shot. It's looping. Oh, keeper tips it over. I think I was offside, though. Yeah, I was. Aqua with a good ball down the line for Kevin Volland. He's got two men waiting in the middle, one of which is Zalai, the Hungarian that's just come on. Has a good cross, looking for the, uh, the aforementioned Zalai. And he's flicked that on, but it's gone just over the top of the bar. First chance of the half, really. For, uh, for either side, really. Hoffenheim having it. 15 minutes still to go. 0 0. Seven Johnson. I call for a through ball, and he is going to squeeze that through to me. Got a chance to be one on one here if we can get inside that defender, which just about we can. And then we'll Ronaldo chop inside him again. So it will go across goal. Too much, though. And it goes all the way out for a goal kick the far side. Didn't quite get my angles right there. Just under 10 minutes to go now, and we're still at 0 0. Good ball into Jack Rodwell. Across to Lee Catamon. I'm not really too sure where to position myself here. We've got those two holding mids are kind of blocking off any balls into me. But if I drop a little bit deeper here, then Catamon will find me and will use one of Adam Johnson. I'll call for a through ball again. He squeezed it around. First time shot blocked by Grangfist into uh, stoppage time at the end of the second half. Now we'll probably continue this one main highlight until the end of the game because it's been pretty boring. Not the best of games by any stretch. We've had a couple of chances. Hit the post early on in the first half. Had that shot well blocked there. Trying to get involved here to uh, round the game out with at least one more chance, although it doesn't look like it's going to happen. They've had a couple of decent chances at the other end as well, coming close, but it does end 0-0. So two goals for us in the first game and a let-off with the injury that didn't keep us out. We just have to go back and hopefully find out that the manager has accepted our transfer request. And fingers crossed, we can try and push something through or at least get an offer in before that Werder Bremen game. Otherwise, we'll have to wait until Thursday. We'll find out. As soon as I get an email, I'll hit A to stop the uh, simulation. It looks like we're going all the way to the Werder Bremen game. Can we please stop on the Sunday? It's going to go to the Monday. And he has turned down my request again. Okay, well, <laughs> we will request the transfer again because you guys want me to leave. And uh, we can probably force it through a decent move. <sighs> We'll have a quick look at the squad report to see how we're getting on so far this year. Yan and V has gone up one already, those two pre-season. Interest being shown by West Ham. We're probably worth more than a move to West Ham, aren't we? After scoring nearly 30 goals in the Barclays Premier League last season and 35 plus in all competitions. Pretty sure we, uh, we deserve a move to someone better than West Ham. As we stand, we're staying at Sunderland, but of course in uh, Thursday's episode we'll try and force this move through. And uh, fingers crossed we can get a decent offer for you guys to vote on. There is a bit of a, uh, a gap then after that Werder Bremen game up until the West Ham one. So hopefully between now and then we'll have something to, uh, to put to a vote for you guys to have your say. But for now that's going to bring today's episode to a close. Apologies we weren't able to get anything done. Blame Gus Poye. But uh, for now that will bring uh, Tuesday night's episode to a close. I think I'm going to be streaming tonight as you see this. I might start streaming in about half an hour or so from 8 o'clock, between half 8 and 9. I will put up a little uh, video actually, I've put together a little like 30 second advertisement video to let you know that uh, when I go live and then I'll delete it when I finish etc. But 
that will go up when I do start streaming. If you want to know exactly when I'm going to start streaming, then follow me on Twitter and on Twitch. You'll find links to both of those sites in the description down below. If you follow me on Twitter, obviously, you'll see me tweet out when I'm going to go live. And if you follow me on Twitch, you'll, of course, get the email notification when I go live. But for now, thank you very much for watching. Check the channel page for anything you may have missed over the past few days, whether it's this series, the Liverpool Career Mode, or the Career Mode Road to Glory, both of which will uh, come back to you tomorrow. But for now, for Tuesday night, thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you next time.